sentenced with. Without objection. I rise today with some sad, some horrible news about the passing of a great friend, Rich Trumpka, who left us this morning. The working people of America have lost a fierce warrior at a time when we needed him most. Just yesterday, Rich was lending his support to the striking miners in Alabama. Following in his father's footsteps, he worked in the mines. He went to Penn State, earned his law degree, didn't practice, didn't go to some fancy place, went right to work for the United Mine Workers, which he led for so many years. And then he became head, first secretary, treasurer, and AFL-CIO. He had in his veins, in every atom of his body, the heart, the thoughts, the needs of the working people of America. He was them. Rich Trumka was the working people of America. He never had any heirs. He never put it on, and he cared about his fellow workers so. He was a great leader. He knew that the, working, that the labor movement and working people had to expand and be diverse. His, one of his passions as a labor leader was immigration reform, which I talked to him about repeatedly, because they were working people too, no matter where they came from or what they looked like. It's just horrible news. I'll have more to say about it later, but I wanted to inform my colleagues that we have just lost a giant, and we need him so. We will remember him forever, and his memory will, I know, importune all of us to do more, even more, for the working people of America, who Rich Trumka so dearly and deeply loved. I yield the floor. Good afternoon. I, uh, before I begin, let me start with something, uh, I apologize, more somber. I, uh, I learned a couple of hours ago when my staff came in that a close friend of mine, and I think of many of you as well, Rich Trumka died today from a heart attack. The reason I was a few minutes late coming out, and I apologize for that, I was talking to his wife and to his son, who called. He wasn't just a great labor leader. He was a friend, and his friend of yours too, Debbie, I think. And he's someone I could confide in, and uh, you knew whatever he said he'd do, he would do. It was simple, Tommy. You knew him well as well. He was always there. He was an American worker always fighting for working people, protecting their wages, their safety, their pensions, and their ability to build a middle-class life. I've also believed that the middle class built America, but I know who built the middle class, unions. Unions built the middle class. There is no doubt that Rich Trumka helped build unions all across this country. My heart goes out to Barbara and Rich Jr. and the grandkids, and uh, I might point out that uh, you know, uh, I used to always kid him. He was from soft coal country. I was from hard coal country. <laughs> we used to have this thing about, you know, he used to be president of the United Mine Workers, and that's how he got started. Folks, um, uh, 